So I installed iPad OS 18 today and spent an hour just playing with the notes app and the ability to do math notes within that app. So one of the things I guess my first impression is, is it's a little underwhelming only because I don't know what I was expecting, but I think I was hopeful there would be some more um, impressive features. But I, what I've gathered is it's mostly just a quick calculator. So any type of calculations that you do, like that you would just type into a normal calculator. So if I wanted to do um, 43 plus 27, as soon as you write what you want to add, when you do an equal sign, um, it's going to say, hey, do you want to solve this? And then you tap on solve and it's going to work it out. It would also do this if I wrote something vertically. So if I wrote um, 2572 and 8198 and 95 and then put a line under that, it's actually going to um, solve that as well. Now I have noticed it can take it a minute to realize or like my line isn't perfectly straight. So let me try erasing that and put a line and maybe put a plus sign. Okay, and now it recognizes that I want to solve this. So I have noticed your handwriting is kind of important. Um, it wants to see neat handwriting. If it doesn't recognize what you've written, it's not going to do a very good job um, doing a calculation. One thing that is kind of interesting, if I take my eraser tool and let's say instead of 95, I wanted this to be um, 85, I could erase my 9 or 75 and put another number and it's going to redo the calculation based on what I've changed it to. So I did think that was interesting. Um, and then of course, you know, I would kind of tested it to see what it knew. So I wanted to know if I put negative 3 squared, if it would calculate that correctly. And it does. Um, and it knows if I put that in parentheses to treat that differently. So I did like that. It does know how to do some other calculations. So if I wanted to do something like a logarithm, I did log base 2 of 8. And it knows that that's 3. So. I was impressed by that and actually it got me thinking about if I were teaching logarithms and I really wanted students to discover the relationship between logs and exponents I might actually have them write down several different expressions and look for a pattern and we could talk about that and then we could say hey what is the pattern here what are we noticing what is the relationship with these numbers and come up with a generalized rule um, and the calculation just happens right there on the sheet um, know that whenever it puts that calculation in there it's kind of layered on top of your writing but not there like it doesn't recognize the five is here it only recognizes my writing and it's just suggesting a five for me so i can't now do a further calculation with the numbers it puts on the screen um, you would have to move your five somewhere else to do a different calculation with it it did understand how to do some trigonometry so if i type or write sine of 30 degrees it knows that that is one half. Um, so then it got me thinking about fractions. Could it do fractions? So I typed in, or I wrote, I keep saying that, uh, one half plus two thirds, and it will give me um, a calculation there, but it's not going to write it in exact form. It's gonna round just like a calculator would. So it doesn't do fractions in that way. I mean, it can treat them like numbers and come up with a decimal, but it doesn't do fractions in that way. Same thing if I did the square root of 64, it knows that that is eight. Um, but if I did the cubed root of eight, does it recognize? Oh, it does, that's pretty cool. Um, but if I were doing something like the square root of 60, it would give me a decimal here. Um, 
so let's talk about equations. Uh, if I typed in an equation, let's say x is 5, and let's say y is 4. And then if I, below there, if I write x squared plus y to the fourth equals, it will or should recognize everything here and want to do a calculation. Now I have seen it doesn't always work. Like I feel like this is really glitchy. So let me erase this, try something different. Let's do x squared plus 2x plus 1. So it knows to substitute a 5 in for x in this problem. When you get too many variables, it can be a little glitchy. Now, what's neat about this is I could start to make a table of values off to the side. So I could have like an xy chart. And I could say, okay, I plugged in 5 and I got 36. Now I'm writing that, okay? Now if I erase my 5 and I just put a 6, it's going to redo my calculation. So then I could come over here and put those numbers down. If I were to tap on that 6 with my finger, it gets this little symbol that pops up. And I can now move this so I can increment this down and, and up. And as I increment, it just keeps changing the value. So that could be a really quick way to make a table of values or look for some points that you're trying to find um, because it does recognize that relationship. Now, if I had written the x minus 15 part of this um, below the equation, it doesn't want to do it. It's very important the order that you write things. Uh, similarly, I was playing around with formulas. so. Um, if I were teaching geometry and I wanted my students to find the area of a triangle, um, I can put a triangle on my paper and I can hold and make it a nice straight triangle, which is nice. And let's say I drop a height in here. I can say, well, area is equal to one half base times height. And if I tell it that my base is 10 and my height is seven, it just doesn't quite know what to do with any of that. It doesn't know that I want to substitute values in. There's no, I have to tell it what I want it to do. And even if I write area equals 1 half times 10 times 7, it doesn't do anything there. Now, if I write A equals, now it'll work out that problem. Or I would have to write it as 1 half times 10 times 7 equals and just stop writing and it'll do it there too. Let's talk a little bit about graphing. If I were to have an equation like this plus 5y equals 10, it doesn't know what to do with a standard form equation. I would have to put this in slope intercept form. y equals negative 2 fifths x plus now it should recognize that I have an equation. It does. So I tapped on the equation. It recognizes that I have an expression here. And then I can click type insert graph. So insert graph, it's going to graph that line. I haven't tried this. Can I tap on that? No. I was hoping that could be a slider, but I don't think it can. Oh, this can though. The intercept can. So if I tap on the two and, and tap that, I can move my line. It's a little goofy though, because it's like the whole scale of the thing. I also tried inequality. So if I did y is greater than negative 3x plus 1 and tap on this, see sometimes it recognizes the handwriting and sometimes it doesn't. There, let me try. y is less than negative one third x plus one. Yeah, it just doesn't like it. Well, I did it earlier and what it did is it graphed the boundary line, but it did not do the shading at all. I would still have to shade the graph. You can graph two things on the same graph. I'm gonna switch to a pen and see if that helps. So if I did y equals one half x plus two, and then tap on that and insert a graph, it's gonna graph that line. 
and then I could graph its uh, perpendicular and say y equals negative 2x minus 3. And I can insert the graph or I can add to an existing graph. So I'm going to choose the second one here, add to existing graph, and it's going to plot that on the exact same graph that I have. So I wonder if I change this now to a greater than. Does it shade? No, it doesn't shade. But you can tap the graph, and then that first icon that looks like a graph, if you tap it, you can change the color of your lines, but you can't make them dotted or dashed or anything like that. You can turn them on or off. And it also recognizes other equations that I have in my note as well. So, so those are just a few of the things that I've kind of encountered on, on my first little bit here with math notes. I mean, ultimately, I can see how it would be great for doing quick calculations and not having to skip over to a calculator. At this point, I'm not seeing anything that has me, like, worried. You would just have to think about if you are teaching calculations, how do you use the fact that this can do that? to your advantage. And I think maybe using it to explore patterns or things like that would be important. Handwriting is important, so lining things up, using correct syntax, all those kinds of things are going to be really important for it to recognize your handwriting, to do anything with it. But I definitely encourage you to kind of play with it, think about applications in the classroom and how this could be really useful uh, for students.